Hello, I'm Cameron with Gale Force 9 Games, continuing our How to Play series for Dune. Today we'll be continuing our in-depth look at the different factions, going over the Bene Gesserit, the Spacing Guild, and the Wealthy Emperor. As well as this, we'll go into detail about how you make and break alliances with other players, as well as the advantages you get from them. The Bene Gesserit are gifted in the ways of mind control. They begin with one force in the Polar Sink and 19 forces in reserve. They start with 5 spice and in every revival phase they can revive one force for free. Their special rules includes the ability to ship spiritual advisors in from off-world. Whenever any other faction ships forces onto Dune, excluding the Fremen, you may also ship one force from your reserves for free to the Polar Sink, though you may also ship normally during your turn. The most powerful ability of the Bene Gesserit is the voice. You may voice your opponents to do as you wish with respect to one of the cards they play in their battle phase. For example, you can make them play or not play a specific weapon such as a poison weapon, a projectile weapon, or even the powerful lasgun. The same goes for their defense cards, or cheap heroes. However, if your opponent cannot comply with your command, they may do as they wish. The Bene Gesserit have a unique way of winning. They can secretly predict, using their prediction cards, at the start of the game which faction will win, and when by choosing a turn number card and a faction card. After this, they place the unused prediction cards face down back in the box. If the faction you predicted wins in the turn you predicted, then you win alone, even if you are in an alliance. However, you cannot predict the Spacing Guild or Fremen will win with their special victory conditions. The Bene Gesserit can still win normally by Stronghold Control. If they are in an alliance, they can use their voice on an ally's opponent, using it as they would normally, which can be a huge advantage. The Spacing Guild. They begin with 5 forces in Twix each and 15 forces in reserve. Like the Bene Gesserit, they can only revive one force for free every revival phase. The Spacing Guild controls all shipments onto and off Dune, and this gives them a number of advantages. Whenever other factions ship forces, they must pay the spice cost directly to the guild player. The guild itself has three different shipment options available to them. They can either ship normally, paying half the normal fee in spice, directly to the spice bank. They can ship any number of forces already in a territory on Dune to another territory, or else they can withdraw their forces from a single territory. Withdrawal costs one spice for every two forces, and returns the forces straight to the guild's reserves. The guild, like the Fremen, has a special win condition in addition to the usual capturing of strongholds. If no other faction has won by the end of play, then they, and any allies along for the ride, automatically win. An alliance with the guild means that allies can make use of the Spacing Guild's half price rate and can make use of the ability to ship between territories on Dune, making the guild a very powerful ally. The Emperor is very rich and very powerful. This faction starts with no forces already on Dune and all 20 held in reserve. The Emperor starts with 10 spice and only gets to make one free revival in the revival phase. The Emperor's main advantage is a constant flow of spice in the form of bidding. Whenever any other faction pays spice in the bidding phase for a treachery card, they must pay it all directly to the Emperor, while the Emperor pays the spice bank as normal. As an ally, the Emperor can share his great wealth as well as directly paying for the revival of up to three extra allied forces from the Talaxu tanks, allowing a possible total of six revivals in a revival phase instead of the normal three. 
Now that we have been over each faction and their different strengths, it's time to talk more in detail about alliances. We'll just discuss the basic rules here. There are several optional rules that can be found on the back of the rulebook. These are good for when you're more comfortable with the game and want to try something different. Alliances can only be formed or broken in a nexus, following the appearance of a sandworm. Alliances are limited to a maximum of two players, and it changes the numbers of strongholds to win from three to four. But these four are able to be occupied by a combination of the allied forces. Alliances cannot be a secret, and you cannot be a member of more than one alliance. Allies cannot enter any territory that their allies already occupy, with the exception of the Polar Sink. But they may assist each other by paying some or all of the costs an ally incurs during the bidding or shipping phases, as well as making use of any special rules they might have. Allies don't have to be fully open with each other. If you still want to keep your secrets, then that is entirely up to you. Finally, if you make any deals or bribes between allies, these must be respected and honoured. You can't make any deals involving exchanging treachery cards or leaders, but it is encouraged to deal using spice, secrets, or promises of future action. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this video in our How to Play series. Dune can be found on our online store with the link in the description below. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for all the latest GF9 news.